All right. Okay, so I wanted to talk about the lack of originality in Hollywood nowadays, as many of you probably know. Um, in the past two or so years, uh, it seems that like every other week we'd be hearing about some other franchise getting a reboot or a sequel, uh, and usually that would be met with a negative outcry by the fans, uh, whether it be just talking about how they'll stain the source material, or how um, they like just the uh, general um, like lack of ideas nowadays in Hollywood. Sorry. Um, so yeah, basically uh, how Hollywood has officially run out of ideas. Um, but really that's actually always been the case. Um, there's been very few ins instances where we've actually got truly original content. Um, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Jurassic Park. Uh, those are prime examples that have been just basically derived from books and many others like Die Hard, Goodfellas, um, even Titanic, the second highest grossing movie in the world was basically just derived from real life events. Um, Now, since this trend has become so popular, remaking movies, getting movie sequels, I wanted to look up these stats for how many movies under these categories have actually been made in the last, I chose, decade to give some decent numbers. And it was actually quite surprising. Um, sequels. Sorry, must have died. Sequels came out with 176 since 2005. Prequels with 10, adaptations with 195. Remakes with 73, and spin-offs with 7. Spin-offs and prequels are kind of the minor ones. But, um, now the big question is why? Why are there so many of these movies being made uh, one reason is finances. Obviously, part of the reason a company makes a movie is because, well, they want to make money. Um, now, typically, a studio will want to uh, <laughs> rely on a pretty um, solid um, franchise or idea for uh, making a movie so that they can bring in uh, huge revenue. And so they stick to the uh, successful franchises that have uh, come out in the past. Bringing in new ideas always, is always a huge risk in Hollywood. Uh, some of the biggest flops in the past few years have been from original ideas. Uh, now it doesn't help when the film industry nowadays requires almost everything to be franchised in order for it to be deemed successful. Uh, another reason is popularity. The few somewhat original ideas that are floating around nowadays don't hold, hold a candle to the Star Wars or Avengers or Dark Knight of uh, the past few years. Um, even when a... Oh, I should have been moving this. So, finances.
So it's very hard for um, original uh, franchises or ideas for movies to uh, compete with the uh, big blockbusters that are coming out nowadays, nowadays, even when a company tries its hand at making, uh, again, rebooting an already pretty bad adaptation of four heroes trying to save the world from impending doom, it still gets an insane amount of clicks and views on the internet, which ultimately leads to more revenue. So it's one thing to come up with a solid new idea for a movie, but you also need to have the popularity factor there as well. A third and pretty obvious reason is because studios can't. Sure, in a perfect world, we would have left Ghostbusters, uh, Indiana Jones alone, but because Disney apparently says we have to have another Indiana Jones, um, I'd honestly be okay with Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt taking the helm, because he's already proved himself to be a pretty damn good actor. And because companies know uh, that we as fans and ultimately consumers will go to the uh, theaters to see a new addition in a franchise, basically just to see if it lives up to its pre predecessors, and so they'll sure as hell make another one. Which actually brings me to my last point, because fans want more. Anytime a studio brings out an original idea, it is ultimately retaliated with, why can't we have more of this series, or you should have just stuck with that series. Um, so as much as we complain and argue over how stupid all of these new remakes and sequels are, we actually need to realize that we are part of the problem.